What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and today I'm going to show you how to set up parental controls on your PS5, and how to create a user account for your child on the PS5 the correct way. Uh, so there's two ways to add accounts to a PS5, and most users likely went to users and accounts, and went to users and added a new user for their child. Unfortunately, this isn't actually the way that PlayStation intends you to add child accounts to your PS5, uh, at least not to enable the full um, amount of features that are available to limit content on the PlayStation. Uh, what you actually wanna do is go to Family and Parental Controls, and then go to Family Management, and you're gonna see that it wants you to go to the actual website to create this account. So we're gonna do that now. All right, so here is the website, and I've gone to the exact address, and here's the family management. This allows you to restrict content such as games and movies, keep track of and limit playtime, use a shared wallet and set spending limits, and restrict communication features such as chatting and messaging. So let's go ahead and set that up now. And we're gonna add a child to the account and choose their date of birth. So let's choose one, one, uh, when should they be born? Let's see. Thir uh, 10 years ago would be 2012. Uh, let's do 2008. So they're like 14 or so. 13 or 14, because I think you have to be 13 or older to use um, this anyway. And then we have to enter an email address for the child account. Um, so let's go ahead and add uh, just a default there. Let's add a whatever password. Okay. So to ensure your console works as intended, we collect the, uh, certain usage data. Uh, your child can select one of two possible options, limited or full data and different degrees of personalized PlayStation experiences. So they can change parts of the account information, see and change their social privacy settings, um, etc. They are able to um, use third-party services and make some changes to their profile, things like that. All right, so then here we can choose the age restrictions. So it already chose age 14 for here. And for PS4 and PS3 games, we can click here and say only games for 13 or older. And that would be E, E10, and Teen. And same with over here, we're gonna choose age 14, which allows the same. We can um, set an age level for Blu-ray discs. So we can say age 14, and DVDs, uh, the lower the level, the tighter the control. So we could choose one. And then country or region, United States or whatever region you happen to be in. Use of PlayStation VR. Uh, Sony doesn't recommend users under the age of 13 use VR, so you can restrict or not restrict this on your own, you know, whatever you decide. And then uh, web browsing, there is a web browser on the PS5. So if you don't want your child accessing that web browser um, where they might be able to view inappropriate content, you can click on restrict here and then confirm. And then we can choose uh, network features like communication and user generated content. Uh, you can either restrict or don't restrict. Uh, communication means that they can uh, chat and message other players like their friends and say hello things like that if you want them to be able to chat then you should not restrict this um, age filtering of online content um, you can do age filtering to restrict certain content based on your child's age so when they go into the store um, they can't view games um, and view the screenshots and gameplay of games that they wouldn't be able to play outside of their restrictions anyway. So, you know, you might not be able to play Modern Warfare, but you can go watch videos in the store, so this will restrict that. And then you can set a monthly spending limit and say you only want to allow them to spend $10, for example. And you can confirm here. And then you can select the time zone. and confirm. Restrict playtime will allow you to choose how long and during what hours your child can play. And if 
if you choose restrict, then you can um, choose which days of the week and what times they can play. So you can say they could play up to one hour and only until 9 p.m. Or you can say they can play uh, three hours on Monday and they can play until 9.30. And you can choose they can't play anything until school's over at 4.30. So then they have a window that they are and aren't allowed to play. And then you can choose to notify them when um, it ends. Or you can choose to log them out when the gameplay ends um, because they might just ignore the notification and play anyway. So that will set up your time frames. And then you can choose agree and add to family and the child will be able to log in onto the PS5 using the account we created and the email address and password we used and um, all of these parental controls will be set um, to that child. Uh, go ahead and add that, and then you're going to go into your PS5. And then we can choose parental controls and choose console restrictions. And there is a password for this. To enter 0000, you have to enter square four times. And that is the default. And this will allow you to actually change the parental controls for certain users, including your child's account. And if they know the password is 0000, they can go ahead and do that. So the last step is you want to go in to change your console restriction passcode and click on that and then change it to a number that only you know. And that should lock up your um, account pretty well. And you'll be able to keep control over what your child accesses and when. And uh, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you want to say thanks, click on that thanks or join button below. Uh, let, uh, thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Peace. What? You've never heard of stream savers? And you thought PewDiePie was the only YouTuber to make a game? I made a game too. And it's called Stream Savers. And it's available for pre-order right now for $9.99. And that's a great price.